Alright, hello everyone, um, welcome to my uh, second video. After releasing my first uh, trailer, um, I had a encouragement uh, and support from my friends and family and people on social media. So thank you guys all for the support. It really meant a lot to me uh, to make this video. So the last weekend I visited two art events. Uh, one was called uh, Pius Pup in French means uh, free market. There are like 100 uh, vendors uh, selling handcrafted uh, work. Uh, it's really remarkable. Um, I bought a, a pillow that looks like a, you know, like a sleepy deer. You know, it's in my video actually in the middle. Um, it's super cute. And the other place I visited was called uh, SD Montreal. So this one has, uh, this one is a little further away from where I live. But um, I think it's a great experience for me. Um, it has nice ceiling, uh, a lot of bigger space um, than the other one. Um, but yeah, I actually enjoy a lot. Uh, I met uh, cool artists there too. Uh, bought a couple sketchbooks as well. Let's talk about a real topic here, which is creating a color mood boards. As you can see, there are six different uh, color mood boards. Um, so. I decide to uh, split into this uh, part one and part two. So colors, uh, what is colors? Um, so the colors that we use for this type of work, it helps us to understand the time of the day. It creates mood for the environment and it evokes motion, uh, which at the end it helps uh, telling stories. Also as a professional job wise, um, there are a lot of things you can do with colors actually. Um, you can use colors to uh, create illustrations, um, concept art, um, background paintings, um, color scripts, color keys. So that's quite a lot of jobs you can do with colors. Before we jumped in, uh, I wanted to share with you uh, where did I get my inspiration from. So last year, I moved to uh, Montreal from Vancouver and I was wandering around uh, downtown area. And I found this buildings uh, nearby, um, Barry Yukon. Yeah, it somehow really spoke to me and um, I thought it would be really nice to uh, work on uh, my personal piece with uh, this type of buildings. Um, the things I like about this buildings was uh, really, it was simple architecture, uh, but at the same time, it has nice, uh, I don't know, to me it's quite, to me it's cute uh, how it's all attached together with different type of uh, bricks and colors. Yeah, I think that's how I end up uh, working on this piece. I think that's enough said. Uh, so let's move on to uh, paintings. So I got my sketch ready. Um, and here I'm starting from sky. I think it's really, really important to start from sky because um, uh, the sky color influence surroundings and all the objects, right? So I'm here, I'm throwing some colors and adding uh, big shapes and small shapes of clouds. Uh, I think it gives nice, uh, interesting compositions. And here I'm adding a uh, ground plane. Um, I'm adding some colors here and there. Um, adding also some grass uh, color as well. And here I'm blocking some uh, buildings here. Um, I make each layer of buildings um, just in case if I don't make any mistakes. Um, so yeah, here I don't, I'm not really concerned about the color. Um, I'm just uh, focusing on uh, blocking the shapes. I know it's not really fun part uh, of this paintings, but it's something I need to do in order to move to a next uh, stage. And I'm here. Here I yeah I give uh, different uh, colors just to diversify each buildings, and adding some smokes as well. And yeah, I'm blocking uh, color on the cars. 
I know in reality, it doesn't really make sense to have a big ships or cars like that and small wheels. Um, but I personally like this type of uh, uh, design and taste. Um, having a small wheel is actually very cute and fun. I think it really works for um, illustration animation. And I'm adding some adding some uh, windows as well. So I'm just uh, cutting out the uh, the unnecessary part and adding a um, little bluish, you know, purplish color. Um, And there you go, and uh, so yeah, I just what I just did was I just quickly um, duplicate each building's layers. Um, I thought that um, there are too many uh, white dots, uh, which was the texture brush. And here I'm adding some green trees um, and adding uh, some bounce lights. The adding some bounce lights actually gives a uh, more uh, 3D look and it adds up nice uh, harmonious look as well I like to uh, add some uh, old rustic texture on the building so I wanted to emphasize that with this type of texture brush And here, I know this is not going to be the final look, but I just want to test the color, how um, how the light works here in the building. So as you can see, just ha adding some light on the buildings, it just kind of like brings up the image, right? And I'm smudging a little bit of the clouds here. adding some highlights on the tree as well so yeah this uh, is kind of coming along um, here I'm adding some colors uh, different colors and values on the roof usually the roof has uh, different uh, colors from the bottom so I'm trying to uh, separate those two I um, wanted to add some shadows uh, on the car, so I'm using hue and saturation to add some shadows. I'm exploring like different options, just going back and forth, um, trying different uh, colors and using different layers because there's no answers. In my mind, I don't really have uh, like 100% uh, what I wanted, but I, I know um, what kind of feelings and atmosphere, um, the mood I want to get to. So by using um, different color layers and uh, different color adjustment layers, um, trying to achieve uh, my vision as close as much possible. Here you see me using a color lookup menu to um, explore more blue color. And here um, I'm slightly adjusting the colors of the buildings and the roof. And also things that I want to emphasize is um, uh, especially, you know, when you're working, um, we tend to um, sometimes use uh, a lot of layers and sometimes we don't really care much. Um, all we want to focus on is to make a, you know, good work, right? But, you know, when you when you start working with people and working in the industry, um, um, I think it's really important to organize layers. Um, I think it's pretty crucial when it comes to production uh, and I think it's, it helps a lot um, when you do that. You will save a lot of time and be really efficient because um, sometimes, uh, you know, sometimes clients ask you like, oh, we want different colors uh, 
and and sometimes the your supervisor or director ask you for color change um, and so yeah you, once you have a uh, separate layers you get to uh, change it really quickly here I'm using a Gaussian blur and motion blur on uh, smoke from the chimney and now I start to uh, uh, adding more details so you remember uh, when I first started I was doing the boring things uh, boring paintings which was the blocking stage but now at this stage I'm slowly uh, going going to uh, the fun part which is the you know jumping to more details and adding some light here you see me uh, adding some dormer windows uh, on the top of the house a technique that I'm using here is um, just paint one dormer window and just duplicate them. And uh, right now I'm just adding uh, uh, more details inside. Yeah, so you know it's almost getting there, right? So we got the houses, and uh, here I'm just adjusting the, the size of the tree, a bit of a color as well. So I think only thing that we have left is the entrance, so I'll add that in a minute. Um, right now I'm also going back to uh, vehicles, um, adjusting colors here and there. Uh, I thought that it's just a little muddy and feel like it needs some uh, contrast. Yeah, it's always, um, you always have to check back and forth, you know, if things are looking good or is there any better way or, you know, is there any better way present the idea yeah here i'm adding a uh, entrance um, so it's the same technique that i did on the window so um, i'll be painting just one entrance and then i'll be duplicating them every other houses and at the end uh, you can always use a uh, uh, skew or uh, rotate tools to um, to make it look different so there you go, uh, that's my final piece. Alright, so here I'm um, doing second panel, I'm throwing some colors here and there. Um, I was picturing this saturated, you know, little purplish uh, sky. So I'm looking for that type of mood here. Um, yeah, I'm looking for that color and you know, keep exploring. Um, color options and I was adding some light um, but I wasn't really satisfied with the result so I decided to use color lookup menu um, and looking for another um, color option here and yeah and I found uh, this light blue color uh, and has nice uh, purple Desaturated purple color on the bottom, uh, and I really like that, so I decided to go with that. Um, so yeah, I'm now adding uh, some uh, shadows on the buildings and then on the bottom. Yeah, and uh, yeah, just adding some um, cool lights. I mean, cool shadows and. And then maintain uh, some uh, warm lights on the top of the house. And yeah, I'm moving on to the clouds as well and just keep little uh, lights there. And yeah, and here we go. That's my finished one. So this is going to be my last uh, piece. Um, in this video, um, I'll be painting. Um, it's gonna be a sunset time. Um, uh, there's a, I think about a couple weeks ago, I, I, I saw this really nice uh, sunset color. Um, it has nice gradient from purple uh, to warm yellow light. So, and it has really nice uh, colorful range. So um, I wanted to apply to this piece. Here I'm actually building some clouds and adding some highlights. Um, 
And now I think I'm jumping to uh, buildings. Um, um, yeah, I also want to give um, not just only uh, shadows or dark light, uh, but at the I wanted to give um, I wanted to add a you know purple bluish um, shadows on the buildings as well. So it has nice um, balance and it's very harmonious too. Um, so that's what I'm working on right now. I wanted to add some um, warm lights uh, on the windows, so it feels like there's a uh, uh, some someone's living there, um, and it, it also it gives nice contrast. Uh, between the, the dark shadows and the light, right? So, um, so yeah, I um, and also I added, I added a, a couple layers. Um, one is overlay, and the other one is color dutch. And I give um, a Gaussian blur uh, effect, so it has nice blurry effects on it. And also, I wanted to give some uh, light effects on a uh, smoke from chimney. Um, so just adding a slight uh, yellowish uh, light on there. I'm just giving little uh, blur effects on the sh uh, cloud. Here, I actually wanted to um, I uh, wanted to add some highlights on uh, vehicles and uh, trees. Mm, I think it creates nice uh, atmosphere. Um, so there you go. So hope this helps. You can try this uh, on your own, practicing experimenting colors. Feel free to write comments down below if you have any questions regard to this topic. And if you like this type of content from me, please subscribe my channel as well. And I'll see you guys uh, next video, part 2.